Hello friends, this video is a APO questions with solution, uh, complete questions of uh, APO exam conducted in 2019, assistant personal officer in personal department and uh, most of the questions comes from establishment and date of exam was September 2019 in SWR and these are all objective type multiple choice questions number of questions is 110 uh, and this video will be important for various railway department examination wherever the establishment finance or Raj Bhasa is coming uh, before going to the questions uh, what are the important instructions given for examination point of view I will write here the written examination comprises of objective type multiple choice questions attempt any hundred questions out of 110 questions each question carries one mark so total number of question is 110 but we have to attempt only hundred questions if any candidate has answered questions in excess of required number of questions the first attempted hundred questions only will be evaluated and the rest will be ignored so be careful for one or two questions uh, sometimes uh, we are not uh, qualified so we must be excess careful and uh, another important instruction is negative marking for incorrect answers so negative marking is there one third of the mark allotted for each questions will be deducted for every wrong answer it means three mistake then one correct answer will be negative minus so questions first question is limits of power in establishment matters for various posts in railway are are included in which official book the book name is book of schedule of power book of schedule of power appeal against the order of high court is to be filed in which judicial body appeal against the order of high court is to be filed in supreme court in the legal context what is slp not only this question this examination was asked in various other examination also slp means a special leave petition a special leave petition expand macp macp means modified assured career progression modified assured career progression so many question asked from macp where can a read petition be filed where can a read there are various read so where we can file this read it may be filed either in high court or in supreme court so if both option is there the answer will be both of them either supreme court or high court if an injury is caused to a workshop employee on duty due to his disobedience of safety instructions what is the employer's legal obligation to pay compensation under workmen compensation act no compensation to be paid because video is going to be more lengthy that's why i'm not uh, second time repeating the questions so if you want you can pause the video and read again terminating the service of a group a officer of railway is within the power of terminating the service of a group a officer of railway is within the power of here answer will be none of the above neither gm nor drm nor dpo can remove group c post in railway are filled through group c post in railway are filled through through option a direct recruitment through rrb definitely option b promotion this is also there group d to c people are coming option c cg appointment compensation ground apartment and option d all the above so here answer will be all the above so all these methods are is used which of the following kind of leave cannot be combined 
which of the following kinds of leaf can be combined sorry cannot no can be combined first lap and lhp second lap and lnd third maternity leaf and ccl and fourth all the above so here answer will be all the above so all abc can combined which of the following comes under the purview of sbf star benefit fund which of the following comes under the purview of sbf option a purchase of vehicle option b women's empowerment activities option c assistance for contesting court cases and option d purchase of house apartment so here option b will be the answer women empowerment activities for this only sbf amount can be given so purview of sbf for this regulation of labor's relation in railway is governed by which of the following regulation of labor's relation in railway option a trade union act 1927 26 option b industrial dispute act 1947 option c minimum wages act 1948 and option d all the above regulation of labor's relation in railway governed by all the above so here answer will be d all the above here what i am i am watching that wherever the all the above option is coming the answer is all the above next question what is the basis for a standard of proof required in dar action what is the basis option a as applicable in civil procedure code as applicable in criminal procedure code pre ponderance of probability and d all the above but sorry here all the above is not the answer but the answer is c pre ponderance of probability after 26 october 2005 post retirement comple- complementary passes are not eligible to which category of employees some option was there i am just writing the answer those employees who remove from service without compensate allowance the msp scheme was introduced with effect from das very very important question and it may ask in all kind of examination the msp scheme was introduced from 2008 fixed medical allowance payable to eligible retired railway employees is rupees dash fixed medical allowance fma now it is rupees 1000 1000 the total number of railway zones in india is actually this question is confusing me i don't know the correct answer either 17 or 18 um, so be careful somewhere we are watching 17 somewhere we are watching 18 here in swr 18 is given and i think 18 should be correct maximum number of persons that can be included in a privilege pass when only family members are included is if there is no dependent only family members is there then no limit is there so here answer will be no limit the pnm works in three tier which among the following is not a part of these three tier pnm pnm actually working up to three level so option a is divisional and zonal level option b is railway board level option c is ministry of railway level and option d is tribunal level so except c all level it's working so answer should be ministry of railway level it is uh, pnm is not working on this level what is the upper age limit for age relaxation of a pwd candidate for general category post that is 10 years upper age limit is 10 years for general category post pwd under what circumstances are extra ordinary leave granted to railway employees
option A, when no other leaf is admissible, option B, when railway employees especially request for UL, option B, when employees especially uh, specify request for UL, option C, up to three months without medical certificate, and option D, all the above. Once again, all the above. And the answer is also all the above. Not all time above. Mistake is there. All the above will be answered. Pension eligibility after completion of 10 years of service is dash. Pension eligibility after completion of 10 years of service is 50% of last pay drawn. 50% of last pay drawn. Actually, uh, while we are reading the previous year questions, it not only given the some updated answer and also given uh, idea. The Central Staff Benefit Fund Committee in a zone is presided by or controlled by Chief Personal Officer. Recruitment against which of the following group C posts are not through RRB and within the power of general managers? Option I will give some option. Option A is Scouts and Guides. Option B is Compensate Compensate Ground Appointments, CG Appointments. Option C is Cultural Quota Appointments. And Option D is All the Above. So here also All the Above. Who among the following is Minister for Railways? At what time examination was conducted, that time Pius Goel. Now it is Sri Ashwini Vaisna. Sri Ashwini Vaisna. Hours of Employment Regulations, HOER, is derived from which legislation? HOER, Hours of Employment Regulations, is derived from which legislation? That is Minimum Wages Act 1948. Minimum Wages Act 1948. When a railway employee is medically unfit in all classes and is to be terminated, he may seek compensate appointment to his ward if he has dash of service left. That is three, over three years. Over three years. Maximum LAP that can be availed in a single spell is limited to dash. That is 180 days or 6 months. 180 days. Number of appointments against scouts and guides quota in group C for a zone every year is dash. What is the maximum number for scouts and guides quota? That is 4 posts every year. 4 posts every year. Which of the following applies to grant of DCRG? Death come retirement gratuity. Which of the following applies? Option A for completed qualifying service up to 33 years. Option B half percentage of monthly pay for each completed year up to 33 years. Option C ceiling of 20 lakh. And option D, all the above. Once again, all the above. The answer is all the above. According to 7th PC recommendation, there shall be a total of how many MACPs in one's carrier? That is maximum 3. So as I told you, MACP, so many questions asked from this sector. What is the prescribed periodicity of PNM with a recognized union at a divisional level? Period. What is the prescribed period? That is two months with a recognized union at divisional level. What is the time limit for a reply to be given for a RTI query? What is the time limit for a reply to be given for a RTI query? That is 30 days. 30 days. Please note, answer is as up to 
2019 while assessing vacancies for a non selection post what is the period for calculating anticipated vacancies while assessing vacancies for a non selection post the period that should be anticipated vacancies is 15 months 1 year 3 months 15 months what percentage of handicap is required to be considered as person with disability pwt that is 40% 40% which of the following procedure is true when exact date of birth is not known at the time of appointment option a affidavit to be obtained from candidate option b year known but not month then 1st july to be taken as birth date option c year and month known but not date then 16 of that month taken as birth date and once again option d that is all the above so here again answer is all the above which of the following is not applicable to joining time which of the following is not applicable to joining time option a joining time is allowed for request transfer option b joining time not allowed for temporary transfer which is not applicable option c joining time of one day if transfer is within the same station and option d if distance between old and new stations is between 1000 to 2000 km joining time of 12 days granted so here option a is incorrect option a is not applicable it means joining time is allowed for request transfer is incorrect in case of request transfer no joining time will be allowed who is minister of state for railways who is minister of state for railways currently it has shri rao saheb patil danwe and shrimati what is the maximum period of child care leave that can be taken during entire service that is 2 years or 730 days both is same but this is for entire service not at a time in an organization of more than 1000 employees wages should be paid within how many days from end of wage period if more than 1000 employees there wages should be paid within 10 days within 10 days khalasi helper is now redesignated as what khalasi helper is now redesignated as helper now he is redesignated as helper what is the normal period within which an appeal against a penalty has to be submitted by the charged employee unless it is not specified so i requested my viewers to give answer of this question through your comment box because already i uploaded this question so humble request to give comment once you give comment you cannot forget which of the following is true of medical decategorization option a medically decategorized employee have to be provided alternate employment as far as possible in their department option b until alternate employment is provided the decategorized employees are kept on super numerary post option c a committee of officers 
including a medical officer have to decide the alternate posts available for the employee because of the less space i am just giving the answer that all three statement is correct here also the option was all the above answer is all the above so there was no space so i directly given that all three statement is correct reservation for economically weaker section have been introduced at what percentage reservation for economically weaker sections have been introduced at what percent that is 10% 10% For reporting on a subordinate employee in APAR the employee should have worked under the reporting officer for minimum of how many months for minimum of how many months that is also 3 months so 3 months also came in so many answers 3 and not only 3 months i mean 3 how many members from the staff side are nominated by recognized unions to the national council that is 60 60 60 members what is the maximum portion of pension that can be commuted what is the maximum portion of pension that can be commuted that is 40% 40% 40% 40% after how many years after fir is filed for a missing person is he presumed dead after how many years that is 7 years up to 7 years railway is thinking that he is he may came after that he resumed presumed as dead under which provision of dar can an employee be removed from service without inquiry very very important that is 14 roman 1 roman 2 and roman 3 which establishment of railway among the following is excluded from the purview of factory act provisions option a loco sets option b railway workshops option c production units and option d none of the above here op answer is a that is loco set amount payable in case of a permanent total disablement under employees compensation act is equal to dash or rupees 1 lakh 40000 which ever is higher that is equal to 60% of basic pay into age age factor 60% of basic pay into age factor under dar suspension is a here option is major penalty minor penalty so i am just writing the answer that is suspension is not a penalty railway recruitment board rrb report to which authority rrb is reporting directly to the railway board so here answer will be railway board reservation in favor of which of the following categories is horizontal reservation which of the following categories is horizontal reservation very very important question reservation of persons with disability pwd that is the categories of horizontal reservation which of the following is true for a super numerary post just i uh, read something on super numerary option a is it is a permanent post option b they are created under special circumstances option b they are created under special circumstances option c their operations is for a limited period and option d all the above so here also the answer will be all the above that is d according to factories act what is the number of workers required in a factory for mandatory providing a canteen for the purpose of providing canteen maximum workers number of work a minimum number of workers would be 250 this is the meaning maximum period of child care leave that can be availed by a lady employee in her career is 
a repeated question only twisted uh, once again the answer is 2 years or 730 days 365 into 2 from which year is the new defined contributory pension system applicable in a railway from which year is the new defined contributory pension system applicable in railways that is in 2004 this question also repeated but only twisted where is the indian railway institute of signal engineering and telecommunication situated iri set that is in sikandrabad iri set is in sikandrabad lfp credited at the rate of dash day per month total 30 lfp in a month 30 divided by 12 it will come 2.5 days per month so answer will be 2.5 days per month sort of means a period of rest which is option a less than 12 hours in a roster of 6 hours duty for intensive workers option b less than 10 hours for continuous workers option c less than 8 hours for essentially intermittent workers and option d once again all the above and answer also all the above sort of one question came from long on also if a railway servant is having 200 days of LAP and 200 days of LHAP at the time of superannuation, eligibility of leave salary is dash 200 days LAP and 100 days as LHAP. This is the eligibility. For grant of financial upgradation under the MSEPs, what is the prescribed benchmark for performance? The prescribed benchmark is very good. Very good. A railway employee is eligible for HBA on which condition? A railway employee is eligible for HBA on which condition? 10 years service after confirmation. 10 years service after confirmation. Maximum amount on final withdrawal from PF on account of daughter's marriage is 6 month pay. That is equivalent to 6 month pay. Amount of advance eligible for purchase of personal computer is DAS. Amount of advance eligible for purchase of personal computer is rupees 50,000 or the rate of computer whatever whichever is less what is composite transfer grant allowance admissible for a transfer involving more and 20 km from the home station that is 80% of basic pay 80% of basic pay which of the following is true for sort of in the context of HOER. Which of the following is true? Option A. Less than 12 hours in a roster of 6 hours duty for intensive workers. Option B. Less than 10 hours for continuous worker. Option C. Less than 8 hours for essentially intermittent workers. And option D all the above so this question was repeated here also answer is all the above i don't know why it was repeated who is the present chairman of railway board when this question was conducted that time it was vk yadav sri vk yadav sir now sri vinay kumar tripathi and he is not only chairman but chairman come ceo First railway budget after merger with the general budget work presented in which year? Actually in the year of 2016, uh, government 
decided and announced and from the 2017 the first budget came which of the following constitute sundry earnings in railways sundry earning earning which is neither coming from goods nor coming from passengers so answer will be this what is the book in which works approved by railway board are listed for the year works approved by railway board are listed for the year that is green book work approved green signal given for work so this is green book which of the following is the plan head for staff quarters which of the following is the plan head for staff quarters that is 51 for staff quarters that is 51 plan head how any stagnations increments can be given to an employee in his entire career how many stagnations increment can be given to an employee in his entire career that is 3 which of the following factors are considered for sanctioning motor vehicle advance in railways option a total amount for first instance not to ex- exceed rupees 180000 option b advance limited to 8 month basic pay and dearness allowance option c anticipated price of the motor car and once again here option d that is all the above and answer also d that is all the above so lots of all the above only one exceptional otherwise all answer all the above only which of the following is not true commutation of lhp to make up for shortage in lhp can be permitted lhp can be encashed at the rates applicable railway employee who is compulsorily retired can be sanctioned in encashment of leave cash equivalent in lieu of lhp is equal to half plus da admissible on the date of retirement so which one is not true that is answer a answer of uh, statement a is not true which of the following is the correct sequence of events i am direct writing the answer that sequence is first august review then revised estimate and then final modification august review revised estimate and final modification the detailed distribution of budget allotment made to railway administration is contained in which of the following that is pink book pink book which of the following is not true of canons of financial propriety canons of financial propriety option a the expenditure should not prima facie be more than the occasion's demand the expenditures expenditure should not be prima facie be more than the occasion demands correct no authority should exercise its power of sanction for its own advantage 100% correct allowances granted to an employee can be a source of profit no this is not correct uh, answer is c only public money should not be utilized for personal benefit this is also correct so here answer will be c allowances granted to an employee can be a source of profit is incorrect which of the following is part of statutory audit which of the following is the part of statutory audit option a accountancy audit option b appropriate audit option c administrative audit and once again option d all the above 
and also answer all the above what is the maximum number of installments allowed for recovery of motor vehicle advance the maximum number of installment allowed for recovery of motor vehicle in advance is 200 200 under whose control is the contingency fund of india contingency fund of india is under whose control that is president of india president of india which of the following is considered for sanction of house building advance option a for purchase of land and construction of house option b for construction of house and on land already owned option c for purchase of readily built flat from government <laughs> and option d all the above so once again all the above answer is there how many budgetary reviews are conducted every year how many budgetary reviews are conducted every year that is 3 proposal of expenditure from consolidated fund presented in the parliament is known as das proposal of expenditure from consolidated fund presented in the parliament is known as demand for grants demand for grants very very important which of the following forms part of audit objections audit notes option a special letters draft and draft observation slips and all the above so here again all the above and answer is also the all the above lapse of how many years required for taking a second computer advance lapse of how many years required for taking a second computer advance that is 3 years as i told so many 3 is there which of the following is a pointing authority in relation to a railway servant which of the following is a pointing authority in relation to a railway servant option a an an authority who actually appointed him option b equal or higher authority empowered to make appointment to the post option c any authority senior to him by two grades and option d a and b only so here answer is a and b only an authority authority who actually appointed him or equal to or higher authority empowered by the what is the maximum number of cases for which a railway employee can act as defense helper at the same time at the same time that is 3 that is 3 a railway employee classified as essentially intermittent ei shall not be employed for more than how many hours in a week essentially intermittent ei that is 72 hours in a week supreme court may accept an appeal by granting a special leave the power to grant such a special leave is vested in the supreme court by which article that is article 32 article 32 right to information empowered by which article of the constitution these are all very very important question right to information empowered by which article that is article 191 article 19 1991 a khalasi working in railways met with an accident and injured while carrying a box to another office indicate which of the following is true in this situation i am direct writing the answer he is eligible for compensation under workman compensation act 
the maximum quantum of fine that can be recovered from a workers a workers wages is limit to what percentage the maximum quantum of fine that is 3% that is 3% which is an employee's salary limit beyond which payment of wages act is not applicable beyond which payment of wages act is not applicable that is rupees 6500 under industrial dispute act railway is under industrial dispute act railway is public utility service essential service public transportation service and once again option d that is all the above so here answer is all the above all the above means new pension scheme is affecting from which year repeated question and viewers should give the answer budgetary reviews are held in which of the following months budgetary reviews are held in which of the following month that is august november and february august november and february any expenditure from the consolidated fund requires whose sanction any expenditure from the consolidated fund require the sanction of parliament which of the following is the plan head number for staff amenities which of the following is the plan head number for staff amenities i am direct writing the answer that is 52 5 52 to 52 which schedule of indian constitution contains the list of national languages everyone know actually for this also i should give comment that is 8 schedule parliament enacted the official language act in which of the following years parliament enacted the official language act in which of the following years that is 1963 1963 which day is celebrated at as hindi day which day is celebrated as hindi day that is september 14 How many languages are recognized as official language in the constitutional 8th schedule of the constitution how many languages are recognized currently that is 22 22 according to official language rules india is divided into how many regions according to official language rules india is divided into 3 regions a b c three reasons south western railway is in which region of official language act that is as i told south india so all south indians comes under c so that is c region c region communication from central government to an office in the region c shall be in which language communication from central government to an office in region c shall be in english language english language an employee shall be deemed to possess proficiency in in hindi if an employee shall be deemed to possess proficiency in hindi if passed the matriculation or any equivalent or higher examination with hindi option b has taken hindi as an elective sub elective subject in the degree examination option c declares him himself to possess proficiency in hindi in the prescribed form and option d all the above so here also answer is all the above which among the following document need not be issued in hindi english bilingual form under section 33 of oil act 1963 
ऑप्शन ए रूल्स ऑप्शन बी नोटिफिकेशंस ऑप्शन सी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिपोर्ट्स एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल द एब आंसर इज ऑल द एब सो ऑल रूल्स नोटिफिकेशन एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिपोर्ट्स डिड नॉट बी गिवन इन हिंदी नॉट कमिंग अंडर थ्री थ्री एन एम्प्लॉय इज डीम्ड टू हैव वर्किंग नॉलेज इन हिंदी सेटिस्फाइंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन ए एज स्टडीड हिंदी एज सेकेंड लैंग्वेज इन एस एस एल सी ऑप्शन बी हैज पास हिंदी प्रज्ञा एग्जाम ऑप्शन सी एज स्टडीड हिंदी इन एज थर्ड लैंग्वेज ऑफ फॉर डिग्री एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल द एब सो हेयर आंसर इज ऑल द एब सो फ्रेंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो काइंडली गिव यूर कमेंट फॉर आंसर as well as for uh, how you are uh, 